everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Um, I have a short video today that's going to include a minor what sold and a little bit of a haul from a place that I go to once in a while. So let me just start with what sold. I had just taken this out of its little package. So this sold, this I think is a handmade. Um, if you've seen a, my haul a couple weeks ago, I didn't sell it for a lot. I think I sold it for like 13 which is fine but there's no brand on it it's just like a big nighty and like I said I do really think it's handmade it's in pretty good condition there was one little tiny flaw in the pocket which I did disclose to the buyer I'm hoping they will absolutely love it because it's really cool different I've never seen anything quite like it and because of where I live like I wouldn't be surprised if this was handmade because there's a lot of like Amish around me and um that could definitely be something that they made to sell or that kind of thing. Um, the next item that I sold, I hauled yesterday. So if you saw my haul, then you saw these, which are some Sam Edelman's. And I sold these for 30, oh gosh, I don't know. I made $26. So I am, I think 35 or something like that. I'm very happy because that's a super quick flip. Yes, I could have gotten more for these, but I sold them. They're in really good condition compared to a lot of, like you can see the soles. I know there's like some scuffs and stuff, but really they're in good condition. So happy about that. So those are the two things I've sold. Sales have been kind of slow lately, so hmm, whatever. But I went to my local consignment and I have a couple things to show you. So this place is where I usually take a bunch of my clothes. So I went to go look and to get some hangers. And so I picked up a couple items. So the first thing I found, and there were a lot of good things but I, that I left, but I just didn't have a lot of time to go through and nitpick. This is an Adidas zip up with, I call this like the varsity lettering on the front. Um, it's a medium. I paid $6 for it. I'm sure I can get a decent price for this. So um, I'll be listing that on Poshmark. And then the next couple items I might actually send into the real real. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see. Sometimes you make a lot of money on the real real and sometimes it takes a day and a half. Uh, this is a Ralph Lauren. Um, do it doesn't say polo or anything. It literally says just Ralph Lauren. Um, they do take Ralph Lauren. They don't take like polo and they don't take Lauren Ralph Lauren. Um, this is in pretty good condition. Doesn't have a ton of wear. They are super picky. So um, sweaters, I'm really gonna have to look over it, make sure there's nothing like no poles or anything. But if not, I will list this on Poshmark. It's a large, it's nice. But it does have the, you know, the little logo on the front, which is cute. And the next item I found, which I, I'm debating on sending these into the real row. They have stars all over them. They are J brand jeans and they are in really good condition. Whoever brought these in, um, 25 small size, but I'm going to tell you, um, a fun fact, <clears throat> Victoria justice. I don't know if you know her. She used to be on Nickelodeon wore these, which made them famous per se. Um, they, I think they retail for like over a hundred dollars, but, um, I think they're the, uh, a Koki, A-O-K-I style star jeans. So shall be listing those or send them the real real. And so the last item I got, don't know if it's real. Okay. Because it's vintage and vintage does not look like today's stuff so i found this let me show you what it is i know it says gucci so it is like a blazer and if you look at the material it's got little gucci logos all over it and it's really hard to see so here's the thing i've seen this material in a lot of vintage because it doesn't look like the intertwined gucci like there is now which let me just show you the button, which um, I've seen this with a vintage Gucci. <sighs> but 
that's where you you second guess. So all of the buttons look similar because I went through and everything's faceted really nicely. Um, everything's well made. The inside tag has seen better days, which I'm thinking this is like early 90s. When I looked up the um, information on here, which is really hard to read, I'm um, just saying. I did, it's, it's the DIL number. Um, some Gucci stuff did come up. It does say made in Italy. I need to do some research before I list it, etc. because it's not like an easy thing to figure out. Um, comparing it to other people's stuff is kind of difficult. If it's fake, I probably could still sell it. I don't know if that's legit or not legit, but um, I'm just looking at it as I'm talking to you. We will see. I mean, I'm not, I didn't spend a ton of money on it, but I'm sure if anything, I would keep it because it's kind of a nice like basic blazer and it's a medium. And I mean, it's really not in bad condition at all. I, I mean, it definitely needs a little like TLC because it's older, but uh, vintage Gucci gets love too. I just, I have to look at some more pieces before I make that call. So that's kind of it. I know that's a small haul, but kind of an exciting haul. I felt like I did really good for the $27 I spent. Um, I'm gonna be taking some stuff to them on Monday. I actually am going to be shipping some stuff here. That's my ship. Some of my shipping stuff is right here. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna make a couple sales today so I can kind of even out my day. I only have two weeks left to sell before my holiday starts. Um, and that means I'll be shutting my shops down for a short period of time to spend time with my family over the holiday. I will open back up on Christmas day, but I'm hoping between now and then I can offer some nice things and um, generate some sales. And a lot of my $5 items that I do have listed in my closet are going to consignment on Monday. Um, if they don't sell tonight, they will be going on Monday because that's kind of my plan of action right now. Um, I'm going to be going downstairs, taking them all, putting them on the hangers that go to the new or to the consignment shop. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get this stuff ready for their new owners and uh, hit the subscribe button if you are not and I'll see you soon. Have a good one.